First move, computer one. Draw card. Begin duel. Computer one, mana charge. Mana release. Summon. Well, that's a nasty way to start off. Computer 2 has a chicken. Of course it does. Why wouldn't it? Pope Sirsten, a leapfrog boss. Juno, Spirit Fox, and an illusion, Phil Bond. Well then. Computer 2, draw card. If I had it, I would have spited him and summoned a slumber trap, but we know he doesn't have it. Summon. You show me your hands, I'll show you mine. No. <laughs> Leave a boss from measly 1-1. One, one. Not entirely sure why you would summon it there when you've got the opportunity to summon it on the other woodfield. Boggles the mind. Summon. Now, I'm order. I'm going to start attacking the plant. Attack. Casually watering the plant, which apparently hurts it. Go figure. Witching Elf Huntress. I cleave the entire right lane. Gonna get at least one kill from it. I can't figure out why the my computer to summon that leapfrog boss in that position. It had the opportunity to summon it on wood. That's the only reason it's done it, is because as it's died and it's not on a wood field, it's stolen a mana from Computer One, but is that really worth it? Considering the position you're now in. Either way, Cloud Runner Marauders are going to continue to water the plant and doing a bad job of it because they're killing it. And I would expect nothing less to finish off the plant than the chicken rider. Which immediately summons and shows its backside to the plant. It cares not. Goodbye, plant. Although for a one-cost creature, it did take quite a bit to kill it. Two attacks for a cloud and a marauder and a chicken. Not bad. Not bad at all. Computer two. Computer one gives up its turn. Mana charge. Mana release. Single cost onto wood. And here comes the fanfare. Let's hope in this game it can actually. I would say do something, but it doesn't do anything. It just sits there. Corsair's henchman. I'm going to go after the Cloud Runner Marauders. Attack.
Computer 2. Draw card. Mana charge. Mana release. Summon. Jade Mimic. It's not going to do anything in its current position, but it does put Computer 2 into check. That's a way out. There's a 1-1 one, one creature it can kill. Hello? Comes a spell. Fishes of Goalie, field quake, one field. Flipping from fire to water. The mimic won't care. Mana release. Summon. Ah, this is why Patmo Gatekeeper has been summoned. Attack. Which will now gain extra damage because one of its targets is now on water. And the poor fanfare loses half of its health in the process. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Check. Computer 2. Draw card. Monitor. Oh, and Computer 2 needs to kill. It's got two ways out. Summon. That'll do it. Attack. Watch out, here I come. Whoopee. Mana charge. Check. Computer one. Draw Compute 2 back into check. Mana Computer charge. 1 has... Deal at least 2 damage. Attack. Next fight calls us Henchman to deal 1. Sweet dreams. Barbo number order is reduced to 1. Mana release. And reactivate Attack. the... Huntress to do it, but it's also going to friendly fire onto its own Corsair's henchman. Not a biggie, they've got five health. They can take it. Computer 2, if it wants to make it even harder for Computer 1, can just kill these, this Soul Hunter in the bottom corner. Which looks like it's gonna do so. Neither of those creatures can be sacrificed. And there goes the Soul Hunter. Which survived a hell of a lot longer than I thought it might. Although she does allow you to pull a card from your graveyard into your library. And it pulled the slumber trap back. Now it shuffles its library. Computer 2 in check, so Computer 1 needs to do at least 2 damage. Great time for a goalie altar. Bit one games four mana. Bit two games two. Mana release. Attack. Just one cost to reactivate the cause of henchman. Sweet dreams. They are attacking the rear of the huntress, so. They should be down to one. Yep, they're down to one. 
Oh, ooh. Summon. Pastor's out. Caster feels like smacking these Rage Flame Spitters, removing them from the board. Draw a computer two out of check, and it also means that next turn it does have a way out for computer two. dealing with uh, the one one in the top lane. Mana so race. it has a way out. Computer 2 is just going to block it, blockade itself into the top corner. <coughs> Excuse me. Arboreal Worm. Loses 2 health. Gains 4 because there's 4 wood creatures on the board. Attack. And poor Castor is going to get absolutely smacked. Now, Goodbye, buddy. One still has a way yeah, out of this. There's a 1 1 on the board. Which is gained some value out of these henchmen. They've taken down two or three creatures now. Well, not taken them down. It helped deal with the marauders and then it's dealt with these. And it still has four health. One attack off the Arboreal Worm. It ideally wants to summon into that spot, which it has, summon. because the Arboreal Worm is on, only on two health. You know, Spirit Fox is going to attack the Arboreal Worm, but it is going to buff it at the same time. Attack. And take it down due to its blind spot. <clears throat> Mana charge. Library to graveyard. Graveyard. Has to discard a card from its library to its graveyard, and it is a flame guard recruit. Computer two. Not the biggest loss. Mana charge. Mana release. Eight mana. Two into the chicken. Didn't quite pull its head off, but reduced it to one. There's a way out for the future turn on that. Mana release. And five mana into the earth space. Summon. For the Berserk Princess. She's going to lose two health. Which reduces her to one health overall. So now she gains plus two attack. And dodge. Attack. And she feels like attacking those henchmen. This. And this is gonna hurt. Hurt so much. You're dead. I told you so. Computer one. Did cost five mana to do that, but you did take out a four health creature, so probably is worth it. Bad bunch of shipmates. Yeah, I'm not not entirely sure whether it was worth it or not. Now, slap, dead. <laughs> Got a card from your library to your graveyard, and it is a Dark Siren, I believe. Dark Water Siren. Computer two. Draw card. I forgot the water bit. Mana charge. Mana release. 
Okay. Chicken is once again going to reactivate and take out the fox. Glorious kill for the mighty chicken. Gatekeeper. Means one to its attack if the target is on a water field, which it isn't. Mana release. Summon. Goblin fanfare on both sides of the board. Computer two. Draw card. Mana charge. Uh, computer 2 is going to be in a bit of a tricky situation here because attack. that is the only card it can attack. But it is the chicken that's doing it, so it won't mess about at doing it. Reducing the fanfare down to 1. Does it have any more? Yes, it does. Summon. Elven Soul Hunter. This is a pretty easy way out for computer one, just reactivate. Okay. All that. Pay to rotate the rotate the hunters. Huntresses, sorry. And take out those. Goodbye. Summon. And Rage Flame Splitter's wormed its way into the top corner where it can now take out the Soul Hunter as well. And regain quite a bit of control of the board. Two creatures in one turn, always good. from your graveyard and put it back into your library. Brought back a Partmall Gatekeeper. Shuffle. Which is now going to be shuffled into the deck. Check. Computer, two. Uh, computer 2 really Mono has charge. only one way out of this. Reactivate the chicken. Oh, okay. They're holding battle him. This creature and any adjacent creatures gain two health. So the chicken's stronger. Mana release. And the chicken's now gonna attack. Second blood for the chicken. Computer one, draw card. Mana charge. There's another spell. New capital. Don't remember what new capital does. The target allied creature's element is changed to wood. This spell has no effect on creatures that do not belong to ele element. So now those term sentinels are now uh, wood creatures instead of water creatures. Means the arboreal worm that has just been summoned now counts it as something to give it attack power. How dare you! You'll suffer a thousand deaths for this. <laughs> that poor chicken. Mana charge. Yeah, computer two's really not in the best of ways here. Gonna have three mana. It needs to deal two damage at least. 
And it's got a fanfare on the board. <laughs> One ghost won't do it. Here comes the ship, mate. Attack. Why you big old? No soup for you. It was good because computer one was on the verge of losing and then it managed to claw it back into this position. Slumber trap. Hmm. Well, computer 2 just has new capital upsessed in the second. Castor. Sorry, not Castor. Uh, yep, Castor, sorry. Juno Spirit Fox and Illusion Field Bond. It's basically got the same four cards that it started with at the beginning of the game when we saw this. Computer One wins.